two packs of the Beyond Meat Burger. And I'm gonna use these for my hamburger, for my meatloaf, and for my dry ingredients, I have one teaspoon of onion powder, I have one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a fourth a teaspoon of sea salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I also have one shallot chopped. I have a flax egg. I have one cup of chopped portobello mushrooms, as well as a half a cup of chopped peppers, bell peppers, the different color. I call them sweet peppers, but just the same thing. So I have that, and I'm gonna take my meat out and put it into this bowl. Okay, I got a bigger bowl. I'm gonna take the Beyond Meat out, and they look like burgers. So I thought it would be good to use these to try a meatloaf, a meatless meatloaf, and see how it turns out. So I'm gonna use all four patties. I hate touching this. I even hated when I did beef. So it looks like beef. It smells like mm, dog food. <laughs> so I'm gonna take that, mix it up. I'm gonna add my flax egg to this, then pour in the rest of my ingredients, half a cup of shallots, my half a cup of peppers, my mushrooms, which is one cup, and then my dry ingredients. I also have a little bit of tamari, so I'm going to pour probably about a half a teaspoon of that in here, and let's see what we get. So it does look like meat. I'm gonna put a little bit of ketchup in here, just like you would if you was making a regular meatloaf. So that's probably about one tablespoon. And I have some sun-dried tomatoes, and I'm gonna put a little bit of them in here too. About a teaspoon as well. Wow, it looks just like meatloaf. I'm going to put just a little bit more ketchup. Then I'm going to dump it into my loaf pan. And now try to form it just like you would do with a meatloaf. Leaving some room on the sides. So that is what it looks like. Put a little ketchup on top like you do when you're making a regular meatloaf. With a little salt and pepper. And spread it out. And I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 35 minutes and then we'll come back and let you see what it looked like. Okay guys, I got the meatloaf out of the oven. So we're gonna do a taste test to see if it tastes good. Wow, that tastes almost like meat. The texture of it is just like meat. This is my first time trying a Beyond Burger. That is really good. I would give that two thumbs up. I'm gonna leave the recipe that I used to make this meatloaf down below. Please check there in the description box. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave those below in the comment section. I'll be sure to answer those. And yeah, thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Happy holidays. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Thank you for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you all in my very next video. Bye-bye.